welcome back guys to the beast inside and this is chapter two uh, I'm sorry you had to wait a week for me to finish this but uh, I am at the moment a bit busy with the radio station as well as my audiobook podcast and so on so please be patient for those of you who are following this game thank you very much and uh, well let's get into this uh, let's see if this is gonna be scarier than chapter one at least hi guys subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads lastly feel free to comment show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video it is september 27th in the year of our lord 1864 evening almost night never before have i kept a diary but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories i have lost besides writing entails a clarity of thought makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination i'm home again after 10 years absence I'm relieved to find the house unscathed. That's good. It's the only roof I have over my head for now. I should light some candles and take a look around. No trace of my father. Did I honestly think he would welcome me at the door? He vanished a decade ago without so much as leaving a letter. The house feels strange even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears creeping out of the darkness whose source I cannot define. But memories will come back. That's what they told me. Maybe then I will realize what happened to my father and what happened to me. Diary. Press tab to read the diary. Nicholas writes down his thoughts as well as all important information. Press space to connect you. Okay, tab. Okay, this is exactly what we read now. Okay, so the first thing we are told is to light the candles. First, probably have to find a candle to lit. Uh, can I take this one? Okay, let's let these two. Thunder. It's a rainy night. Oh, that's the one that was uh, upstairs. Okay, the clock is ticking, but it's not moving. And it's not even witching hour. Okay, it looks like all the candles. Okay, it seems like there's a. It's dark in here. I'll light the candles. Let's take this. This is creeping, creepy sounds in the background. So it's 
a bunch of birds. So this is where the blood came from, from my grandfather, because this is the diary of my father and his father through him, so, okay, so then this is my father's blood, okay, something like this, you guys know we were reading it from since last time, anyway, Same figurines we saw in the attic. This is one of my mom's favorites. She got it from a friend of the family. My father does, doesn't like it though. It means something in a bad way. trick on him back when I was a kid. It still gives me the creeps. I don't know why. It's still too dark. I need to light more candles. Oh, there's another few candles there. We missed, uh, we, no, we didn't miss it. Uh, we need to find more candles. So, there's papers in the fireplace, we probably want to see what that is all about. Okay, so where am I going to find more candles? My father and his partner, a few days after opening a private mine. That's how they did it back then. 
I'll try to find him a message. That's when he met George and he built the inn and for a time he was actually rolling in good old days, but I'm afraid it's not coming back. Okay. The good old days, eh? You want me to go upstairs? Who wants me to go upstairs? I don't. in my room is off so it's extra dark in here and I actually turned the music down a bit from uh, the first video because it was too loud oh, anyway. money 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 must be funny okay let's see it's locked Don't laugh at me. That was unexpected. Interesting. Can I move this cupboard back? Nope. Can't push it back. There's keys. How am I supposed to get to the keys? Can I jump? Jump over this, gonna crouch and move. Uh -uh. Doesn't allow me to do that. That sucks. Can I crouch and go underneath? There's some noise coming from upstairs. It yeah. might be him. Him who? Who's him? That's so stupid. Oh, that's in front of the door. Okay. That window is open. Damn wind. I, I thought the window was bolted shut. I really don't like the freaking darkness. Oh, it's uh. There's many places for candles to be, but there's no candles. Oh, yeah, we saw this as well. I don't know why my father started to collect them. Who knows? Candle. Let's see if I can go and close this window. What broke here? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? This is private property. Oh, 
Where's the door? I mean, there's... Fuck. Was that now a delayed sound effect or... Or what? Assholes. So we go downstairs. Bullshit. Where the hell did he go? Hey! Y you still here? I'd better take a look. He pointed at the shed. Maybe I can find something in there. Hold shift to run. Which shift? Uh, that shift. But I don't know now. Can I take this one? Nope. Wait a minute, before I go there. Ah, the mill is open. It's not like when we came here in our time. Because this is the past. A creepy person standing in front of the window, at least. An outhouse. <laughs> Can't move that. Now I notice it's locked. And what is the possibility of those keys in the house being the keys for the store? I wonder. Yes, there is something we can use. Cutter. I'm brave. I'm not scared of anything. <gasps> Ooh, what is that? Did you guys just see that? There was a person or something here? An apparition? What the hell is this? Let's see what the hell is this. Did it finish reading? Terrible crime has shocked a peaceful local community. The deputy sheriff called to the, to the inn confirmed the man's death. John Norton had been considered missing this last few weeks. The assailant was exceptionally brutal. The victim's throat was slashed, and many other cuts and burns all over his body suggest prolonged torture. Shame, man. Poor guy. I don't know why I want to take it. A gruesome murder? Here? John Norton. Sounds familiar. I'm picking up a lot of this uh, kerosene. I take it we're going to be playing this game in the dark a couple of times or for a while. Oh, there's another candle here. Yeah, I know you guys want me to pick up the bloody... That's my father's hat. The basement. basement. <laughs> Did he leave this as some kind of clue for me? I should look into it. First take the cash. Time is money, money is time. 
light it up again. Basement. I guess the basement is where the keys are, you know. And we have to move that uh, stuff out of the way to get there. Uh, I like the fact that you can pick up anything and everything, but I see that uh, the part that you really need to use is highlighted with an exclamation. Okay, so I cannot take it with me. Okay. There's nothing else of use, I think, in here. Not that I can see. I would still have liked to light the bloody lantern. Right? I don't feel like looking for that vagabond in the dead of night. I'd better go home. I hope you guys are entertained with me jumping all over the place. <gasps> Close the gate behind you. Mm. Nice rain clouds. Question. When we came here the first time, in our time, was there a building there? There wasn't. There's only that little shed there with the fish pond and now there's like a house this is like a barn but I guess we'll come back to the barn a bit later for some other reason mm -hmm. this on the ground. oh it's just a flower okay I take that head back into the house what you let yourself in Hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you! <laughs> now the door's locked. This guy seems to me is totally insane. Can I fight? If I tell anyone about this, I'll end up in an asylum. Now that guy seemed like he did belong into us in an asylum, the way he was laughing. At So on and so forth, you know. You see, I was brave. I went to intercept and confront him. I wanted to moor him, but uh, he, luckily he vanished. He ran away. You can be lucky you ran away, man. I wouldn't have been so gentle with you. Okay. So how are we going to get in there? Basement, basement, attic on top, basement at the bottom. Normally the basement will be through the kitchen. Now that's locked. This is now locked, so I'm trapped in the house now. Um, I cannot move the table. Why is this house creaking like this? Get the chair and put the chair here so I can basically move in here. Come on, any normal man can jump over this bloody thing. Why are you doing that? I guess I'm gonna pick something up and throw that guy with it. Hmm, no more left. And I cannot pick that up. Pick this one up. Oh, yes. Isn't that nice there? Looks like a bunch of books. Um, 
bubbles and nonsense. That just happened. For the cigars. No cigars. Oh. I cannot take a candle. I was going to this dark and gloomy room all alone. We still have this cupboard in front of the door. Examine it. Oh, it's a pipe. A pipe with a hidden message. I tried to smoke it once. Unfortunately, my father found out and made me smoke a cigar. If I wanted to act like an adult, I vomited all night and never touched that pipe again. That sounds so familiar. Reminds me of something that actually happened. Luckily not to me. But it did happen to my sister. <laughs> oh, so we're all basically in the kitchen now. Don't go slamming shut, man. Okay. father never could express emotion but when I felt unhappy or when he felt unhappy he used to clutch this little engine in his hand sounds like your father was a little bit insane himself broken wings there's two holes in here probably where there was a, should have had a handle or something it looks like some kind of knob Anyway, can I take this candle? No, I don't have magic. I don't. Why does it take it here and actually light something? You guys see, I'm playing this in difficulty mode. Huh? I'm walking around in the darkness without any candles. Any other guy would have made a plan and light them. But I'm brave enough not to do it. Okay, I was hoping for more matches at least. Hey, three matches. I think we should use one. And we should take, take the others with me. What's this? Shake a uh, paper or something. I don't think I must light all the candles in this room because it's we've already been through here and I only have two left. Where did all this blood come from? Dear God. What blood? 
You clearly have better eyes than I do. Someone's banging on the cellar door. I need to check it out. Now it's the cellar door. I thought we were going to the basement. take this out of the way in case I need to make a quick exit <sighs> I feel better being outside actually okay let's leave this door open if I suddenly have to make a run for it I want to be able to run for it okay I cannot take that with me that's locked Ah, uh, we actually made it around to the other side. Okay, awesome. And the door's still open. What's your problem, huh? huh? What's your problem? Come out to the way I can see you. Come on! Should I go in there? We'll see if this is a good idea. Okay. I wish I could see more. What's the worst that can happen, huh? It's a game. I can only die. I can hear this guy saying things. <laughs> now you can't pick that up. Why not? Got some more matches. Um, quickly see in the inventory. Uh, picked up ten matches. Uh, kerosene five. Notes we've got plenty. Uh, he's gone for good. Oh, he has never ever been there. That's not the guy in his hallway. There's a lot of blood in the hallway. I can hear knocking. I'm shaking all over. Someone's banging on the cellar door and won't stop. Is that him waiting there for me? I'm afraid to pull the handle, but the, the uncertainty scares me even more. There's blood in the cellar as well. Too much for the victim to survive. I'll follow the trail, but it makes me nerv uh, nauseous just thinking about what I might find. You think you're nauseous? I hope there is more candles or something down here. My father's in first ad advertisement. He said to me, "Well, we did it, boy. Let's read it." The hillside inn is now open. 40 comfortable rooms. A cozy refuge at the heart of the, a mountain village. Delicious meals. Near the famous Caroline Pirate Mine. Don't delay. Visit today. No hidden messages. There's a lot of useless junk lying all over this house. Ok, 
Okay, are you water dripping in something that sounds like a, a tub or something? Oh, there's another bottle of kerosene. Uh, some light would have been very nice. I should take that thing and beat the crap out of the guy. It is an iron after all. You know what? I can actually see on the other screen much better in the darkness than on this one. The one I'm playing on is extra dark. So you guys are actually seeing more than what I am actually seeing myself. It's funny how the two screens... Um, differ in color i can honestly see in the darkness better on that one than this one oh, look at the reflection on my face okay an axe okay a cleaver So it's not money that I'm picking up, it seems like it's kerosene. I don't know why I've got so much, so many. Okay, I can see barrels. A locked door. Why would anyone have a door inside a basement? You turn around and the guy standing right behind you. Brah. Oh, you have to go down there. I can honestly see better on that screen, guys. Okay. This basement is freaking huge. Was that above me or in front of me? Look at the blood. Before we check that out, let me see what's here. Another kerosene. I'm so tired of this kerosene already. Who's these people? Did someone paint them specifically for that person, or is it someone that I'm supposed to know? <sighs> Locked door. Maybe there's another way. Find the side entrance. Uh, really? Oh, that's not too difficult. Doesn't work quietly, huh? Shears. Pair of shears with dusty blades. Despite the passage of time, you can come in handy. Yeah, to cut off the guy's head or something. Cut off his fingers or something. Damn it, I can't open it. Maybe there's something in my briefcase that would help get it open. Oh, fuck me. And where's your briefcase? Upstairs, in the house. Lockpicks. Uh, let me just check the diary. From under the door, even more blood is flowing from inside. Hey, he's definitely writing stuff here that I didn't even see myself. Uh, something, something horrible must have happened on the other side. I gotta get in there somehow, but the door is locked up. Right side door is a padlock. So much blood. It looks fresh, as if it just happened. I just hope 
this isn't about my father okay I can see on that screen now I can see the blood under the door under this screen I see jack shit okay so I guess we're gonna have to go all the way back this way I have to get in there whatever happened I hope it's not my father's blood okay so where's the briefcase Uh, crouch again. Oh, great. Now. Oh, yeah. oh, you jack shit. Am I delusional? Yeah, you're fucking crazy. Okay, since that guy crawled right through us, not even around us, the guy's definitely a ghost or a figment of our imagination. So I don't think I should be scared of that guy anymore. I think we should just move. What the hell is that? And that's Looks what I was like asking. Roots? I need to get rid of them before I leave the basement. <sighs> really? Okay, I think this is where the shears come in handy. Uh, these roots are moving. That's not normal. It would have been worse if you could see blood coming out of these roots. That would have made it quite creepy. You don't even throw that thing far enough. I still want to know where's my candle. Has someone gone through my briefcase? How convenient. The guy left you a key. Stay back! You hear me? Keep away! Oh, <sighs> that was so intense. I forgot, I told you in the first video that I don't get scared over everything. 
accent up her mice. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. Thank you very much. This was enough attention for me. So guys, if you like this video and you wanna come back and see more, or if you wanna come and see chapter three, remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any further uploads, and so that you can get notified when this chapter is up and running. Thanks for joining me. Till next time, cheers.